Released in 1973, The Day of the Dolphin is a thought-provoking film that delves into the intriguing relationship between humans and marine mammals. Directed by Mike Nichols, this movie invites us to ponder the moral and ethical implications of scientific exploration and the bond that can exist between man and these intelligent creatures. As you reflect on this film, you might find yourself wondering about the ways it has impacted your own life. Has it sparked any personal revelations or prompted you to think differently about the world and its creatures? Or perhaps you've witnessed its enduring qualities that have made it a lasting symbol within the film industry. What is it about the day of the dolphin that continues to resonate with audiences, even after all these years? We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this movie. Can you share your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to the day of the dolphin? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. Did you know that the film's dolphins, Buck and Faye, were actually played by dolphins named Nadua and Kathy? They underwent extensive training to perform the remarkable stunts seen in the movie. Additionally, the film's portrayal of the dolphins' intelligence and communication abilities raised important questions about the ethical treatment of these creatures. So, whether you've been inspired by the film's thought-provoking themes or have your own cherished memories related to it, share your thoughts with us. We're eager to hear your stories and reflections. The film The Day of the Dolphin from 1973 was a costly endeavor, with a budget of $8,500,000 making it one of the most expensive films of that year. Unfortunately, despite the high production costs, the movie proved to be a major money loser. Directed by Mike Nichols, one of the reasons he took on the project was to fulfill a three-picture deal with producer Joseph Levy. Interestingly, the trained dolphins who played the characters Alpha and Beta were actually named Buck and Ginger, named after screenwriter Buck Henry and dancer Ginger Rogers, respectively. On the next to the last day of filming, after their parts were done, Buck and Ginger managed to escape and never returned to the set. In the end, The Day of the Dolphin stands as an example of a costly production that didn't fare well financially, despite the notable director and interesting behind-the-scenes anecdotes involving its animal actors. In May 1970, the Mirish Company announced that The Day of the Dolphin would be directed by Franklin J. Schaffner. However, this was just the beginning of the film's journey. Screenwriter Buck Henry played a unique role in the movie, providing the voices of the dolphins when they spoke human words. Originally, Jason Robards was set to play a leading role in the film, but he was replaced by Paul Sorvino after being involved in a near-fatal car crash. These intriguing facts shed light on the behind-the-scenes of this 1973 movie, offering a glimpse into the changes and challenges faced during its production. This was the last of the three films made over a six-year period by the team of director Mike Nichols and screenwriter Buck Henry. Just before this film opened, Nichols and Henry had been working on a screen adaptation of Scott Fitzgerald's unfinished novel The Last Tycoon. But the poor reviews and very bad box office returns for The Day of the Dolphin led them to abandon the idea and also to decide not to work together again for a long while. Producer Sam Spiegel took up the idea of filming The Last Tycoon and hired Harold Pinter to write the script. He did offer Nichols the job of director, but they had severe disagreements over the project, and the eventual film was directed by Alia Kazan. George C. Scott was paid $750K for his role in The Day of the Dolphin. This 1973 film, directed by Mike Nichols and known for its high budget, featured Scott in a significant role. Interestingly, the following year, John David Carson, who had a small role in the film opposite Scott, would co-star with Scott again in The Savage is Loose, a film that Scott also directed. Notably, when Roman Polanski was initially set to direct The Day of the Dolphin, the film was intended to star Jack Nicholson. These facts provide a glimpse into the cast and casting choices of this movie. Stay tuned for more insights into The Day of the Dolphin from 1973. Director Mike Nichols rarely spoke much about the 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin. He often referred to it as the fish movie, despite dolphins being cetaceans, as pointed out in Robert Merle's original novel. 
The film, with its high budget, was a challenging endeavor, primarily filmed on a remote island over several months. Nichols had a difficult relationship with many crew members, and a major problem with his leading man, George C. Scott. Scott, who was going through a midlife crisis, questioned his career, and even tried to persuade young actors to skip work. Nichols' decision to take on this project was driven by a three-picture deal with producer Joseph E. Levine following the successes of The Graduate and Carnal Knowledge. This film shed light on the complexities and challenges faced during its production, making it an intriguing piece of cinematic history. Paul Sorvino and Edward Herrmann later appeared in Reds and Nixon. These actors, who had roles in The Day of the Dolphin from 1973, went on to feature in significant films like Reds and Nixon. Their careers extended beyond this movie, making their contributions to the world of cinema notable. So, let's delve into their journey from the day of the dolphin to these later projects, exploring their lasting impact on the big screen. The 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin features a unique and interesting detail in its opening scene. Harold, one of the main characters, arrives at a lecture in a 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood 75. This car, when it was new, had a price tag of around $12,000, which would be equivalent to approximately $71,200 in 2019. In excellent condition, a vintage 1973 Cadillac Fleetwood 75 could still fetch a considerable value today. This detail about the car sets the tone for the movie, highlighting the attention to historical accuracy and the portrayal of a certain level of luxury. It's a small but intriguing aspect that adds depth to the film's setting and characters. So, as we delve into the day of the dolphin from 1973, we start with this intriguing detail that hints at the time and place of the story and the kind of world its characters inhabit. Crossing paths with fate, the unforeseen accident that entangled the day of the dolphin's cast member in Hollywood troubles. In a twist of fate, one of the cast members of the 1973 movie The Day of the Dolphin found themselves entangled in Hollywood troubles due to an unforeseen accident. This incident not only altered the course of their career, but also shed light on the unpredictable challenges that can arise in the entertainment industry. The movie, known for its high budget and unique storyline, seemed to have a bright future. However, destiny had other plans. A sudden accident changed the trajectory of one actor's life causing ripples in the world of Hollywood. The details of this accident, its impact on the cast member, and the subsequent challenges they faced offer a sobering glimpse into the unpredictable nature of show business. It serves as a stark reminder that, in the pursuit of fame and success, one can never truly predict what lies ahead. As we delve into this gripping tale, we'll uncover the twists and turns that led to this unfortunate accident and the far-reaching consequences it had on the cast member's life and career. As we bid adieu to the enigmatic world of the Day of the Dolphin, we invite you to dive deep into your own memories and reflections on this remarkable 1973 film. It's a cinematic journey that has left a lasting imprint on the minds of many, one that explores the profound connection between humanity and the natural world in an unexpected and unforgettable way. As you ponder upon your personal connection with this cinematic masterpiece, consider the themes it unveils, the delicate balance between our species and the creatures of the sea, the ethical dilemmas it poses, and the astonishing bond between humans and dolphins. Did you find yourself captivated by the brilliant performances of George C. Scott and Trish Van Devere? Or perhaps you were entranced by the awe-inspiring underwater scenes and the stunning portrayal of dolphin intelligence. We encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, and insights about the Day of the Dolphin. Whether it's a vivid recollection of your first viewing, a thought-provoking interpretation of the film's message, or an anecdote of how it influenced your perspective on our relationship with the animal kingdom, your voice adds to the tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic gem. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this introspective journey with us. Your engagement and shared reflections enrich our collective appreciation of the magic that is the Day of the Dolphin. We look forward to reading your stories and insights and well be here, ready to explore this cinematic wonder with you further. With warm regards and anticipation.